Susan's character got on my nerves sometime during this movie. Uh, she's, a, she's got some problems, doesn't she? But I understand her. Yeah, I, I think that you're supposed to be kind of irritated by her, her because a lot of the movie is through Anne's eyes. Um, so it's, it's her vision of her mother, which might be a little, um, you know, expanded on the actual. And I feel sorry for your character. Should I? Yeah, I think um, I think you're supposed to feel sorry for her because she's this kind of smart, curious, together girl who has somehow made it through being with this mother. And loyal to her mom. Yeah, um, she, you know, as much as she is embarrassed by her mother, as much as she um, despises her mother for the life that she's provided her, she she maintains loyal to her and 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 still keeps her love for her because it is her mother. So you've avoided all that. You made it all the way through your teenage years without going through all these teenage angst things, I think. Yeah, well, I I mean, I I love my parents so much, but I, I, I went through all the teenage things of being embarrassed about your parents. Oh, you did? And, oh, yeah, and there was a period where, you know, we would fight a lot, but it's just, it's a part of growing up, and, and it had nothing to do with either. I have two teenage teens. daughters. You don't need to tell me anything. <laughs> I had hair before all that experience started. Uh, well, it's just weird. I mean, I guess, is it girls just go through some special stuff, or I don't see the teenage yeah. boys yeah. doing quite the same thing. I think boys are, are rougher when they're little. They just get roughed up a little more, and then girls, you, you kind of wish you got boys when, when they go through the teenage years. Did you always get your way? No, no, not at all. Um, my parents are tough, but, but yeah. Do you I get mean, your way now? Well, I'm, I'm 18 now. I'm in school, so I can pretty much choose. You're a pretty strong world girl, would you say? Yeah, definitely. You know kind of what you want to do, and I mean, um, you've been doing it, but. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do at all. I'm actually kind of ambivalent about that, but, um, but I think I'm a, an ambitious and motivated person in whatever it is I'm a, trying to succeed at at the time. You know, let's say you go off and you're smart enough to go be a doctor or something. Thank just you. something like that. Is that something you think you could do after you've lived the life of this movie star thing? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Um, you know, I'm in college and, and that's what I'm thinking about is if I find some, if I can find something that, that I like better um, than acting and, and if I could envision myself um, leaving acting because for all its flaws and for all the things that, that kind of make you upset about about this industry, um, there's also great advantages that, that kind of spoil you and, and would make it hard to live without afterwards. It is kind of hard to walk off the stage, isn't it? I mean, because you have so much fun when you're there. and it's, There aren't any better jobs than, than some of this stuff when it's yeah. really working good, really. Yeah, if, if, if you have a good life, I think, um, and if you're a complete person, and if and if you're a well-rounded mm -hmm. person, and you have many other aspects to your life within family and um, intellectual activity on top of your acting, I think it, it can be the best job in the world. But I think you have to develop yourself as a human being first to be able to, you know, enjoy that privilege. Because otherwise, I think it can it can be a little distorting to be in this industry. Well, you must have good parents because they've raised you right, and you've raised yourself pretty good too.